Air signs. What's good, my beautiful people? I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be a um, collective air sign reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just the oracle. Then I'll get into a mini tarot for Gemini, mini tarot for Aquarius, mini tarot for Libra. And then I'll get back into the pear tree oracle to wrap up the spread. So we'll be air sign collective, individuals, air sign collective again. So um, that way, you know, you, we, we end, we begin and end the same way. Um, ooh, for some reason that went dark. I hope it lightens up again. Um, oh, and thank you for watching Mama Faya Tarot. If you're a current subscriber, um, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. If you are just finding me today, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel and it helps get the readings out. I normally do individuals, um, but this week was tight, 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 so I am only able to do elementals this week, but next week I'll be back with the full individual um, readings for each sign. All right, air signs, air signs, air signs. Oh, if you want a personal, you can check the description box below for that information, for booking information. I book Zoom meetings uh, through Everybody in Mind Wellness Center. And I do video recorded readings through Wissio. So you can check that. This is strange the way it's going in and out of like light and dark. I don't know what the hell. I hope it stops. Maybe if I do that, that will stop. All right. If you're not new to this channel, you'll know that I'm terrible with um, technology. And I don't edit. All right. Um, it's weird. I'm getting a weird like red spot on my throat. I don't know if air signs are having some kind of like throat chakra thing going on, but it's weird. My third eye and my, my throat area feel completely like on fire. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but, or if it's just me, but this thing just started just now. I don't know what the hell. All right. Air signs, air signs. Oh, also, uh, my beautiful green witch, who's a Gemini. Um, owns a beautiful shop called thegreenwitchhome.com and you can check out that and use discount code MAMAFAYA for 10% off and you will be supporting a beautiful small business um, and a really good person, genuinely good person. All right, and fellow Gemini, fellow air sign. All right, as if you needed more reason to support her. Um, okay, here we go. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so might it be. I want to get a different background, guys. I'm kind of tired of doing this, like, in my kitchen. Um, all right. We'll see. Be brave and honest. All right, now, signs. So don't be afraid to fully express yourself. And it just don't let fear get in the way of any moves you're making right now. That's a big one. And trust in the unknown. You guys are super duper psychic with this guy popping up. And you can trust your intuition. Uh, some of the best psychics I know are actually um, Aquarius. And so uh, for some reason, this guy gives me mad Aquarian vibes. Whereas this guy's more like the Gemini. Like, you know, um... Let's see. All right, so we're going to get, maybe we'll get an, uh, an oracle for Libra. Libra lovelies. Ooh, trust your instincts and bask in joy and light. All right, so some of my Libras here um, are, oh, wow, I'm just realizing I know three Aquarius suns that are super duper psychics, like professional psychics, like, you know, on that level. So that's exciting. Um, you guys, the Aquarian nation may be really breaking out, um, of the mold here. So, but Libra, anyway, Libra, you have something to celebrate. Um, I wasn't intending on this to go this way, but for some reason, I guess it's being separated into the three for this one. Whereas fire sign, it was all co collective, but it's all right. And I do think, um, Gemini and Aquarius can bask in sun and light too right now, or joy and light rather. It's all about perspective right now and, and having the balance with all of these put together for the air sign collective, having balance and honoring your inner knowings here, being brave enough 
and honest enough to express those things to others and just fully trusting that your instincts will bring you towards joy and light, that you're heading that way, all of you guys, not just Libra, okay? All right, Gemini, what's coming in for love for my gems? My gems are outrageous, ooh, gem. I'm actually gonna clear these. Gem is outrageous. I don't know why I always think of that when I when I say Gemini. Um, you guys might be 80s kids and remember who Gem. Gem is outrageous. Ooh, Gem. All right. Gem is outrageous. And Gem is bringing in lots of new love. Whoa. And that got so dark it made me look like my teeth were missing. What the F is happening? Can we, can we, can we do something? This. What the F? I thought not, like the natural light was best to go. All right. Anyway, Gemini, you're bringing in some new love. This is a yummy, yummy, yummy card. Keep working on your self love as well right now. But seeing as I was trying to channel love messages and the Ace of Cups came flying out first, a lot of my Geminis are bringing in a new love, baby. A new love, baby. That's awesome. That is really, really awesome, Gem. I love that, that that was the first card out. Or if you're in an established relationship, Gemini, it's still doing that. I don't understand. Please stop doing that. Okay. So if you are in a relationship, you may be bringing a new type of love into it and looking at it from a fresh perspective, which is nice. It's beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry, air signs, that the it just keeps going like dark and light. I, I don't understand. I am not doing anything different. And the sun isn't going anywhere right now. Ooh, five of swords. Um, make sure that you are taking good care of yourself. And make sure you're strategic, too. Like, don't jump all in. Um... I mean, Ace of Cups with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is really self-serving energy. So, like, um, it's not what's up <clears throat> most of the time. You may not be being as honest as you can be with someone that you may care about. Maybe you have to express yourself more, Gemini, and, and tell the people you care about how much, like, how much you care. Yeah, move towards offerings and giving offerings we've got two aces here ace of cups and ace of pentacles you're moving towards a higher form of commitment one way or the other so balance that self-love and giving you know um try if you have libra in your chart i think i'm, I'm seeing the scales so you may be dealing with a Libra or you may have Libra in your chart as well. You may be extra airy. Um, you may be a triple air sign. I know a couple. I know one. I only know one. Um, and it's awesome when I meet another triple. Ooh, the love is Gemini. Um, oh, by the way, this can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. I forgot. Um, this is about love. It's all about love. And your, you guys may be, if, if you're, you may be moving and getting ready to move and trying to pack away everything too. This could be like needing to be, you know, strategic in, in this big move that you have, especially during COVID, right? Big changes. Wow. Okay. Big changes to love and relationships, whether they're established relationships or brand new ones. Uh, if you're a single gem, you're definitely bringing in something new, something delicious. And it could be with another Gemini here. Um, wow. What else is coming in for gems? Death to pain. Death to third parties. Death to, death to like constantly being sad. That is dope. Good. Good, Gemini. Keep getting yourself out there. Keep not letting any of the past slow you down. Yeah, and even if that means having to start over and learn new things and or 
get to know new people, you know, starting over isn't always a bad thing, you know, um, really get to know the people that you're meeting right now, Gemini, before you jump into anything too, you know, learn from the past of when you've jumped in too fast and it's come back to bite you in the boot, you know, um, yeah, queen of cups and, but also love unconditionally, you know, but don't become too obsessed with the idea of love or finding love too. Don't, don't be in love with, with love, but also understand unconditional love, truly understand it, learn about it and, and keep yourself as emotionally stable as possible. She's one of my queens that's like really focused on the cup. And I, whenever I pull a queen of cups, it's like that. There's always, it's always a little concerning. So maybe some of my Geminis went too whole hog in the past and they need to like really take it slow and, and get to know people. Yeah, try not to let anxiety get the better of you or obsession or anything like that. Um, let me pull one more out of the new era for Gemini because I can't end it on the nine of swords. Don't let love scare you. Gemini. Ooh, he's getting itchy. All right. Don't let love scare you, Gemini. Okay. And don't let it turn you into something that, that you're not. Yeah. Keep yourself. You're coming up as a page. Ooh, here we go. Good. All right. Queen of cups, son of water, mother of water, son of water. This could be mother son relationship where, you know, the kid may be causing you some issues and and you need to like let that go or you know understand that the people you were dealing with before gemini weren't on your level and that's why letting go of the past you were infinitely more um mature than a lot of the people that you had brought in before and you weren't on the same level especially if it was like a feminine and a masculine here like the masculine was a little bit more behind or um, you know, it, it could be that this is you, Gemini, completely, and you need to express yourself. Like, this guy sort of represents the Knight of Cups. So, um, you know, you may need to apologize to somebody here as well. But totally up to you. This does speak a lot to keeping yourself emotionally nice and stable. That's, that's the big part that's coming through here, my sweet gems. So, all right. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, what's coming in? I got to shuffle these good in between. Aquarius, what's coming in? My super psychics. My super duper psychics. What's going on? All right. Let's see. Let's get into it. All right, Aquarius. What's coming in in love for my Aquarius? Okay, look, you may be trying to work, thank you, you may be trying to work on a certain type of manifestation, and it may be going a little slower than you would like. Um, I know that's hard. Try not to get impatient, my air sign, okay? It's, it's really easy for fire or air to get really, really impatient. Ooh, I think time is making you, like, freak out, but there's only so much control we have over that. Don't manifest anxiety, all right? Really watch your thoughts right now, okay? Or some, oh, or some of my Aquarius may have been manipulated in some way. Oh, the sun and the page of pentacles. This page of pentacles has been coming out a ton um, in various decks. Don't be afraid to admit where you're at. Okay, don't be afraid to say, I need help, or I need to learn about this, or I need to figure this out, you know, instead of pretending like you know something, you know, don't be afraid to start over either, Aquarius, no matter what your age is. Um, you have a lot on your mind, and you definitely need some good sleep. I don't think you've been getting enough sleep and I think you're really stressed out. And I think that um, it's funny because I think that 
Aquarius is definitely wrapped up in something. I'm not getting a lot of like relationship vibes from this. Unless you had someone who didn't really manipulate you and cause you a lot of anxiety. Don't be afraid to leave them if that's the case. Okay. Yeah, seven of pentacles twice. That's interesting. Um, I'm thinking things really aren't going the way that you want. You've planted a lot of seeds. You kind of got to wait for some things to even out. I'm getting recalibrate. I don't, and you may understand what that, what that means. I don't. <clears throat> My throat. Damn, what is going on? I have no idea what's happening, but everything's weird today. Um, all right. I really wish that wouldn't do that. All right. Something about when I lean forward. I don't know. Okay. Technology. All right. What's going on here? Sorry, I'm getting so aggravated with the lighting. If you could see it from the way I'm seeing it, it, it would drive me nuts too. Ooh. King of Wands, take power over your boredom, Aquarius, right? Um, get out there on, you know, social media if you want to. Don't be afraid to show your ass a little. Get confident. Know that these seeds will grow into something more. Yeah, judgment. Wow, might be around Scorpio season. Um, when you start to really see some big things come in. Or a King of Wands, an Aries Leo Sag, may be looking for a second chance from you and you don't know what to do. Uh, someone who has caused you a lot of pain, Aquarius, might be looking for a second chance. And you're like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Yeah, Knight of Swords, get that out of there. I don't think this is for you. If you're this confused, at least let the person know. Like, I don't know what to do right now. That at least you're being fully honest. Remember that, that brave and honesty card came out. So you want to make sure that you, you know, and you don't want to get any bad karma by leading anybody on. You don't want to do what the person, like you don't want to get revenge and get back at the person, you know, necessarily, you know, but you also like, so make sure that you're talking, communicating, communicating how you really feel, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, Aquarius. You know what? Let me let me pull two of these for you too, since I did have a Gemini. Let's see. What's going on? Adjustment. Yeah, find adjustment with being honest but not being brutal. Okay, be kind still. All right. Try and see the whole situation differently if you can. I know, like I think Aquarius, there is some level of you wanting to get like get back at somebody, but it really not being worth it, or it being like the kind of deal where you have the chance to hurt somebody the way they hurt you. I don't think you should choose to do that. I think choosing to not hurt the person and, and just go about the right way and say, I'm no longer interested, or I don't want to lead you on is the best bet there. Because I don't want you accumulating that karma, you know? All right. Libra. What's going on with my Libras? My lovely, lovely, lovely Libras. In love. Ooh, lovely. Four of Wands. Feeling nice and stable at home. Or that's what you're desiring. Um, twin flamed energies. Temperance. Yeah, ooh, wow. The, now my throat's like straight itchy. You are... All right. Libra is definitely... Des Come on. Libra's definitely desiring um, reunion with their twin flame, if this is, if you identify like that. If not, you could definitely be getting married to a Sagittarius. Um, or finding more patience at home and really like making your home your sacred space is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're getting messages from the universe to make sure that, you know, because... Libra understands that, and you could have Sag in your chart, that your energy is everything. And um, Libra is open to communication. Whoa, this could definitely be a Libra who's married, who wants to keep the lines of communication open with, with the hubby. Uh, this could be a Libra who's married to her twin flame, which is beautiful energy. 
um, real union energy. Um, you guys, you know, it looks like commitment. Yeah, with the emperor. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it looks like things look beautiful for Libra. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Make sure that the emotional communication is wide, wide open, but it looks like, um, or, or Libra um, is got a choice between a Hierophant and an Emperor. Oh, good luck with that. Um, but I think a lot of Libras are finding their own inner Emperor and their own inner Hierophant. Um, where they, you know, are taking control over their spiritual health, uh, which is huge. And it's affecting the whole house. Whoa, everybody feels better. Um, hopefully. Or it eventually will. With that kind of energy, I don't know. Um, it might take a little while. It might take a bit, Libra, for the whole house to feel it. But it looks like things are right on track for my Libras here. This is beautiful energy. Um... Make sure you're keeping yourself nice and stable and relying on your spiritual tools. Yeah, ending any cycles of drama, ending any unnecessary, unnecessary drama. Yeah, Queen of Cups. I also think some of my Libras may have quit drinking. Um, I'm getting that really strongly, and that has helped the energy of the house. Um, or has stopped having, you know, such strong emotional reactions to everything. They've really gotten themselves a lot more emotional, emotionally stable. But if you quit drinking, right on. If you had an issue and you stopped, right on for you. Chariot, yeah. Libra's not looking anywhere but forward. That's for sure. Come on, can we lighten up? What is going on? Damn, that sucks. You know... Anyway, um, all right. Yeah. It, it, Libra is eliminating any kind of like emotional codependency, emotional weirdness, and, and really getting stable and moving towards a better, better tomorrow. I mean, and a more stable family and household. Good for you. Yeah. And, and, and it does look like you're really with this high priestess. Tapping into your higher self and going with that. No more pain, no more emotional, um, you know, reactions to things or things that like, you know, don't really matter. So I really wish that would stop happening. All right, let me wrap this up. And I got to figure out something different to tape or something. And, all right. Let's see here. This is truly driving me crazy. All right. All right. Air signs. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Can we lighten back up, please? Can we lighten back up? No. All right. Dawn. All right. So when you're meditating, make sure you're meditating early in the morning, if you can, when you first get up. If not, you may get some real messages at that time anyway. I don't know why this is getting so dark like this. I'm sorry, guys. Let me see. Changes. There are huge changes. This came through for the um, fire sign reading. And these huge changes are affecting you in a big way. Try not to let it get to you, though. Um, or you may be having a hard time sleeping because of everything that's going on. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest. Yeah, and don't let the weight of all these changes weigh you down, try and release a lot of that energy. If this is really stressful, I was getting some stressful energy from the Aquarius rating too. So just make sure that, you know, whatever it is that's going on for my air signs, that you are not taking on too much, okay? And you're really taking care of yourself. All right, guys, I love you so much. I will try and figure out this video issue, but I'll just, I'm going to post it. Hopefully most of you guys just listen anyway and don't watch. All right, love you guys. Take care.